Hello, friend. More Mozine here. And today we're talking about what are some really good Halloween recipes. There are many great Halloween recipes out there. One website I found was called OurBestBites.com. One recipe is called Mommy Doggies. This is a childhood favorite and always the most popular of our Halloween spreads. Cut crescent roll dough into thin strips and wrap around the hot dogs. Bake according to crescent package directions and use ketchup or mustard for eyes. I cut my hot dogs in half to make them bite size. Another recipe is called Monster Jaws. Quarter apples and take a wedge out of the center of each corner. Dunk them in water with a little lemon juice to prevent browning. Use slivered almonds for teeth. I toast mine for color and taste. Eyes are optional. I stuck pretzel rods in and attach candy eyes with peanut butter. And another recipe is called Bones and Blood. Use breadstick dough and cut into strips. Use scissors to snip the ends into two pieces and roll them down to make the bone shape. Dip in bloody marinara. For extra flavor, sprinkle with garlic and parmesan. One of my favorites is called Cheesy Fingers. Super kid friendly, who doesn't love string cheese? Again, I cut them into a half and make them kid size. Use the flat side of the knife to make the knuckle marks and attach slivered almonds with a dab of cream cheese for the nails. I also used a knife to shave off just a bit of the cheese at an angle before attaching the almond. Another one of my favorite recipes is worms in mud where you use chocolate pudding made at home or store bought. Put jelly worms in there. Pumpkin Sammy sounds really easy. It is essentially a sandwich with, with the cookie cutter used. You, this is a great staple for a Halloween party spread because it pleases both kids and adults and is something with substance. Use Halloween cookie cutters to cut your bread. I like to fill some with peanut butter or cream cheese and orange colored jam like peach or apricot for the kiddo. And finally, there's Nutter Butters. Nutter Butters are naturally ghost-shaped, which makes them perfect for dipping. Give them a bath in some almond bark and put on a couple of mini chocolate chips for eyes. And might I add that the white-colored, the white chocolate-covered Nutter Butters taste really good. No matter what you choose as your food for Halloween, remember to make it fun and engaging for you and your guests. You want them to have an opportunity to see the magic in this world, the beauty and wonderfulness of the mundane things we take for granted. Whether that is chocolate or bread, it is up to you. Happy Halloween. And thanks so much for watching. Please thumbs up or thumbs down comment and subscribe and click the link in the description. Thanks so much.